Um, the plaintiff in this case, a Muslim guy, Munir Awad, right? Right. Munir Awad says his religious freedom is being violated because the folks in Oklahoma voted not to have Sharia law ever right. imposed in Oklahoma. Well, what How the, is that possible? What the, what the law said, the law went too far, and the law said only Sharia law. It didn't point out any, any, any other law that would be um, illegal to look at for judges. And so what this guy is saying is, look, you know, you, this is not just law. It's my religious belief. This Sharia, Sharia law, law is Sharia my religious law belief. Sharia law is, is what he says. It's, it's, it's a compilation of tradition. I'm giving you his argument. Yeah. You know, Stoning that's, adulteries. That's the, right. that's the yeah. argument that, That's what making, he wants. But that's part of his religion. Okay. I, are you buying that this violates Mr. Awad's religion? Yes or no? No, it hasn't, it hasn't okay, happened you're, you're not buying it. No, this is ridiculous. This is a form of stealth jihad. This is part of the movement that is trying to get Islam and specifically Sharia law infused into the American legal court system. It not only specifies Sharia law, but international law. Because guess what? International law does so, not so apply So you say that the United folks States. in Oklahoma were well within their rights to say we don't want any of that. We're just going to go by U.S. Absolutely. law. Absolutely. Okay. And this judge why is engaging then, in Why activism. then did this judge, That's this federal judge, say that Mr. Awad's religious rights are being violated?